All right, everybody. So I'm going to be doing a review of the Top Don Art Diag Pro. I already did the time zone and the language, which is real easy. I'm going to skip that. That's if you want to put shop information. Disclaimer. Yeah, you agree. Once we're in here, it's, of course, you hit your upgrades here, and it'll do the upgrades for you. Actually, downloaded and upgraded pretty fast. Um, I already have tested this on my Lexus, and I will say, I'm not impressed. It's, it's not a bad, more basic diagnostic system now it could have more features one thing I'm not happy with on Amazon the screenshot shows the services well it's not coming up for me yet because they're not downloaded or are they and they're just not coming up All right, I'm going to have to come back to y'all in a second with this because apparently needs an upgrade for that. Well, while we're at it, once you enter and you first set up, you have to do your upgrade. If you don't do the upgrade, your services don't show. So you're going to go here, upgrade, and it's going to install a whole bunch of upgrades. We're going to do update. I actually did this pretty quick when I first did it. And I reset it to start from scratch. It took about 5 or 10 minutes when I first did it. So what I'm going to do is it's going through. And once it's all updated... I'm going to come back and we're going to go through a little bit and I'm going to tell you what I'm not happy about with one of the things that was stated it could do and it's not a big thing because I'm never going to use it but if, you, if, if I buy it with it to be in there it should be in there you know and what other features are missing so I already ordered I ordered a uh, Ansel DS700 I'm just, I'm just, I spent a thousand. And if that doesn't do it, then I'm going to have to go with a bigger one. What's my ultimate goal? To be able to verify real mileage on ECUs and on components to match to the dashboard. So when people are like buying a car used, uh, they don't get a clock car. So that's like my ultimate goal. But so far, nothing's doing what I'm wanting. All right, I'll be right back after this is done updating. All right, I'm back. Update is done. It says there's, when it gets done, it'll say, do you want to continue update or exit update? I clicked continue. It's telling you there's updates available, but there isn't. So now when we go to services, I can show you what I'm talking about. So pretty much everything looks the same. I'm going to put a screenshot up of it. Okay. So now that you saw a screenshot. Take a look. Where is it at? <clears throat> so you got knock sensor. Seat calibration, stop, start, reset. Well, before stop, start, if I'm not mistaken, it says Odo, odometer. Now, I'm probably never going to use that. But if I ever needed it, when I purchased this, it showed it to me. But when I... When I go and I plug it in, it doesn't show it to me. It's not there. 
So I think they should correct that. It does check high voltage batteries. That's a good thing. Um, so that'll be good for checking the C-Max. Hopefully it does a good check because that C-Max, well, I'll tell you, uh, it's a good little car, but that battery in it's acting a little weird sometimes. So it's got your AF reset, brake reset, oil reset, SAS reset, battery reset, ABS bleeding, electronic throttle, relearn, uh, TPMS resets, DPF regen, EGR adaptation, AC system relearn, AdBlue reset, AFS reset, coolant bleed, engine power monitoring, gas particulate filter regeneration, gear learn, gear box, high voltage battery, MO, injector, intelligent cruise control, language change, knock sensor, seats calibration, stop start reset, sunroof, uh, suspension reset, which is SUS reset, transport mode, tire reset, and then window calibration. Um, and when you go to diagnose, you'll click auto detect and it'll bring up the thing. You'll see when I put it, I'm going to make another video of it scanning the CMAX. And then you can select, but otherwise you can go down here and select from the, the list of cars. As you can see, it does many. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if it even has Ford C Max on the list. Probably will. So it wants to be connected first. It's got the B Max, C Max. These are the cars. Let me go back. Since a lot of you probably have like Hondas and Toyotas, since they're like everywhere. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty cool. Gives you a list of basic functions it can do, special functions. Apparently, you can write VIN. Oh, that's, that's pretty heavy duty. can do it's one thing I will say about top down with the teen ninja I'm keeping that not only did I get a hell of a deal for it on Black Friday but when I have used it to program keys for vehicles it's smooth and top down makes great products I mean the feel of this and, and everything is really good I just need more features that is why I'm returning it. I'm not knocking their quality or what's in here. I wish they would have had the correct picture on their listing on Amazon. Maybe they made a mistake. I'm not going to say they misled me. They made a mistake. We're both in agreement that it's a mistake. No problem. But the programming, the keys, so far I have not had the top down tell me no to a vehicle. I have not tried BMW or Mercedes or VW yet because there's not many of those around where I live but uh, I've done a Honda no problem Lexus blink of an eye Toyota blink of an eye I did a Chevy Impala 2013 blink of an eye I mean that was super quick so yeah I'm really impressed with top downs key programming and if you're doing key programming only this is overkill right here this machine will key program 
like crazy. It does a, it'll it'll do it because if the, if it's similar, if the MO service like go to services and you're going to go down to MO mobilizer. Well, it's got to be connected, but it'll, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll have quite a selection like the, the top down does the other top down, the T Ninja pro or whatever it's called the other device I have. So that's basically a basic rundown. And then I'm going to show you some of the, the cords it comes with. I'm going to set the scanner over here. This is a, a plug-in version. So this disconnects from here, just like a little serial port. This is your standard OBD. This just plugs in to the back. This is your charger plug. That's where your, your cord here goes. And this is your power button. It's got a little stand on the back, which folds down if you want, so it's, you can lay flat. Comes in your Chrysler Dodge, a little manual, USB plug-in. got a couple of uh, Europe connectors that are included includes a Mercedes plug the BZ38 also includes this one which is a B20 don't know what this is for I think if I'm not mistaken it's like VW or Nissan and it's got a little USB cord to plug it in so it'll charge it includes this case too like I said you know I mean if you're not going crazy this machine is 400 and 450 that's I got it they want 499 but I got it on Amazon with a $50 off coupon so it was like 450 and uh, it includes two years of free updates it's not like the basic art diag that I, if I'm not mistaken that one has uh, lifetime free updates but this one here has uh, two years only don't know what it cost after that I think it's like 200 a year and uh, the warranty on it if I'm not mistaken is one year I think they extend it but um, like I said it just doesn't have enough features for what I'm wanting to do but if you're like programming keys and uh, basic clear codes and adjust tire sizes or what have you and this is overkill it'll do what you need um, the X-Tool D8 is a little higher priced but it has more features than this one so alright thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out make your decision if you're gonna get one of these um, like I said, I didn't find any reviews or any unboxings of it. So I figured, you know what? For the price, I'll buy it. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, then send it back. But it just it doesn't do what I need. Again, I want to emphasize I'm not knocking their product. I'm not knocking their quality. It's just not what I need. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great blessed day.